Okay, so when you open your Fetch Rewards, this is what you're going to see. You can go from, you see I have it on high to low, expiring first, category, and most recent. Now, if you're in the store and you're in the shampoos and you're not really picky about your shampoo, you can go see what the shampoos that they have on special are. And it doesn't matter how many you buy, you're going to get the, the points no matter what. All right. You might want to go to most recent because if you've done it a, a few times and you've already looked at these points, you might want to see what they've added on that you haven't noticed. And you want to see what's expiring first because the Dove hair care products are expiring in one day. So if you're going to get shampoo anyway and you like Dove, get your shampoo, stock up. All right, I like to start it from high to low because I'm greedy and I want all the points. Now notice that the Walmart has 4,000 points for the same paper towels. There are 3,000 points anywhere else. It's exactly the same paper towels. The only difference is at Walmart, you get 4,000 points. And you will see doubles like that. And you have to notice that it may be a different store or a different brand or a different size count that's giving you a different point total. Okay, in case you guys didn't know how to use the um, picture taking thing for the app, you just hit the little camera at the bottom right hand corner. Once you've got the app all loaded and it's gonna bring up this little screen. You're gonna line it up to your receipt and when it lines up, it's gonna turn green. I think, <laughs> it usually does. Oh, there we go. So oops, it turns green, so it's seeing it, and then you just snap a picture. If it's a longer receipt, like this one's really long, I will see it's saying blurry, so it wants you to retake it, so retake it. Oh no, add a section. So I'm not really gonna use this one because I've already done this receipt, but so you're gonna add a section by moving down a little bit. I usually try to remember. So you can see at the very top, um, the early piece was the last thing. So I'm gonna try to make sure that I'm right under that. I usually mark it with a pen. And then you take another picture, add, move it up, take another picture. And that's all you do until you get to the very bottom and then you hit submit. And it's being uploaded, but it's not gonna work. So it's gonna kick it out because I've already done that receipt. But um, that's all you have to do. And then it will add 25 points for small, for any receipt, unless you have items in there that are, um, what do you call it? Yeah, see missing info, it's gonna, it's gonna kick it out and that's fine. Yeah. Rescan, all right, um, it's gonna kick it out. Yeah, stop it, I'm done. And then when you get to a certain amount of points, I have 4,900 points right now. When I get to 5,000 points, you go into um, rewards and you can get I usually just get um, gift cards. You can get Master of Visa cards. Or I get Amazon cards so that I can buy stuff on Amazon when I need to. And it's just for every, basically for every thousand points, you get a dollar. So at 5,000 points, you'll get $5. Um, I've already done two five dollar gift cards so ten dollars total it doesn't seem like that much but it adds up so y'all do it start 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 scanning your receipts and make you some money make you some gift cards and then you can use them for amazon or going out to eat things like that you can um look restaurants there's a whole bunch of restaurants that a five dollar gift card you know you can just get a five dollar gift card and use it um a whole bunch of stuff. You'll enjoy it. It's not hard. And those receipts add up quick. 
So I like to break my receipts up into smaller ones. So Keith has started doing smaller receipts. So instead of scanning everything at one time, he'll scan it, then check out. Scan a small amount and check out. It works. Now, if you have a friend that you want to refer points, you'll go to me at the bottom right-hand corner, and it'll say refer points. And you can either send it to people on your list, which I'm not going to do, but let's say I was gonna send it to my son. It would send them this. And you might wanna put a note at the bottom. See, that's my number, the KWVKG. And anyone who puts that in when they log into their Fetch Rewards, I get whatever the bonus points are for right now. Sometimes it's 2,000, most of the time it's 2,000, but every now and then it'll have a bonus of like 4,000 points, which is awesome. It's not often though. But anyway, so if I wanted him to use my bonus code, I would give him this. And you might wanna put, like I said, you might wanna put a note at the bottom that says, this is not spam, this is your mom, <laughs> or your friend, or your sister, or whoever, and if you're gonna start doing this, please use my code, or just get them to sign up. They can always delete the app later, which is what I told the kids. If you, know, you guys aren't gonna do this, just delete the app afterwards, because they're gonna to forget to do this. But at least they can, you know, Give me my points. Anyway, so I don't want to do this, so we're going to cancel that. I've already done this with him. Um, down. Okay, I used my card on Amazon. But say you wanted to use your card for a restaurant. You wanted to get an Applebee's gift card. All you have to do is say, get my reward. And I used mine on Amazon, and it automatically sent me a code to my phone that I used when I went to check out, and I got my $5 off. It was really easy. I'm not really sure. I've never used one of the gift card ones, but I'm, I'm sure they work just as easily. I'm not real sure. Maybe there's something you can print out. I don't know. From what I understand, the gift cards are easy to use as well. And get your rewards. I hope this helped everyone. Thanks for watching.